because we're going to Germany. We understand, of course, that the, the international relations has everything to do, of course, with how we perform. Well, last week, the German government updated its policy towards Africa with a series of new goals and plans to organize proposals by different ministries as previous policies towards Africa have been largely disorganized. Again, Germany assumes presidency of the UN Security Council and has said that one of the key focuses will be Africa and its development. So what's in this for both Germany and the African countries they intend to engage? Thomas Paro is political correspondent with our partners DW. He joins me all the way from Berlin with more. Hi, Thomas. Essentially, what has changed with these updates in German's policy towards Africa? Gifty, nice to be with you and uh, everyone there again. Um, hello from Berlin, as I must say as well. And yes, I mean, there has been this uh, new policy towards Africa, as it has been described uh, here in Germany. We have discussed in the past some of the key proposals that different ministries in Germany have been presenting towards Africa, whether we're talking about the compacts with Africa to promote private investment with certain countries, including Ghana, whether we're talking about the Marshall Plan, whether we're talking about pro-Africa. In fact, in the last three years, there have been at least eight different proposals by different ministries here in Germany towards Africa. And what has happened is that there has been a sort of chaos and disorganization. And this new policy towards Africa basically tries to be an umbrella to cover all those different policies and make sure that they're all in a way line, aligned and organized uh, in one way with one clear policy from Germany, whether we're talking about trade, whether we're talking about security, whether we're talking about development, whether we're talking about international challenges like uh, climate or terrorism or other types of things. Essentially, all of these different proposals and measures see the African country, co continent and African countries as equal partners. So not only as uh, recipients of aid, as they were seen in the past by certain countries, but as equal partners when it comes to tackling some of the key issues of our time. Again, whether we're talking about climate change or whether we're talking about security. So this is what the new policy is all about, a sort mm. of umbrella policy to cover all the different policies that had been presented in the past. So that's the general perspective. Regarding the specific perspective, I mean, we know that there are different proposals in the ministries that are being reorganized. Are there any specific cases that you can share with us? The compact with Africa, one that we had discussed uh, in the past, is particularly important. It was one of the key proposals of uh, Germany when Germany presided the uh, G20 in 2017. And it is a proposal that has been developed also uh, since to work with concrete African uh, countries to try and promote private investment, for example, in infrastructure. They said Ghana has been considered and we've discussed some of the concrete elements for Ghana here in this program. And that's only one of the key proposals that the German uh, government has been pushing forward, that has been presenting regarding uh, Africa. But as a whole, as I said, the key element is trying to view African countries as partners when it comes not only to their own specific development, whether we're talking again about infrastructure or trade or commerce or political development or bilateral relationships, but also as a whole when it comes to tackling international challenges that are important in Africa, but also are important in Europe. I'm not only talking about climate change, I'm also focusing, for example, on migration, which again we've discussed here, is an important topic that unites Africa and Europe. And, and are there any um, changes as far as migration policies are concerned? That happens to be key to a lot of uh, people who live in Africa when it comes to international relations. Indeed, before the migration crisis here in Europe in 2015 and 16, Africa didn't play such an important role in German foreign policy. But as a result of the migration crisis, Germany and, by the way, also other countries realized that Africa and Europe are interconnected in many, many ways, in more ways probably than previously thought. In other words, when something ha big happens in Africa, it may have repercussions here in Europe or vice versa. And that's why the German government and the European Union as well have put in place certain measures to try and control uh, migration flows, to try and help African uh, countries and improve the situation there so that people don't need to leave their country in the first place to try and help those who have already left uh, their countries, for example, with integration or things like that. So these are certainly some of the elements that the German government has been presenting when it comes to migration. Migration is one of the sort of key elements of this new Africa policy. There are other elements as well 
but one that German politicians are certainly focusing on is migration. But there's a criticism here, Gifty, that I would like to share with you, mm -hmm. because some politicians have said, yes, this is all very nice. When you read it on paper, it all seems excellent. It all seems like a very good partnership between Africa and Germany. But it's time to take that paper and turn it into reality. One of the big criticisms that German politicians have stressed here on various occasions is that some of these policies that we have been uh, discussing sound very good, but action has been very slow. So one of the key proposals now is to try and make sure that all those individual proposals that we've been mentioning can actually be turned from what's written on the paper mm. to concrete actions both in Africa and in Europe. So finally, Thomas, now that uh, Germany is assuming the presidency of the UN Security Council, how exactly is the country intending to make Africa a focus? Germany has always, or at least for a long time now, viewed its leadership officially as a leadership that goes hand in hand with other countries. That idea of multilateral cooperation. And in fact, uh, now the, Germany is presiding the UN Security Council for the month of April in a so-called dual presidency with France. France did it in, in March. France is a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council. Germany is a non-permanent member of the United Nations Security Council and one of the priorities that both countries have said regards to Africa, in particular to security in Africa, whether we're talking about the UN mission in Mali, which is a very important UN mission, but also a dangerous mission, or whether we're talking about security, for example, in Burkina Faso, or whether we're talking about the work done by uh, humanitarian aid workers. So we're talking about a variety of issues there, but Germany clearly stated that in this month, when it is presiding over the United Nations Security Council, it wants to make Africa a priority, not the only priority. There are other issues as well, for example, disarmament or the arms trade. But certainly Africa plans to play a key role, as far as Germany is concerned, when it comes to Germany's proposals in the United Nations Security Council. Mm. It's interesting, and I did say that was the final question, but quickly before you go, uh, Thomas, we know that here in Ghana, and just before I, I, cross, I crossed over to you, we're talking about money. We're talking about the country's economy. Does this new policy come with any monetary or financial intervention that we should know of? Well, for example, if we talk about the compacts with Africa, if we talk about that investment, that idea of, of promoting uh, development in infrastructure mm. in the respective countries, that is obviously attached with finance, it is obviously attached with money, and the idea is to join forces. The idea is to have the African countries that are willing to do some reforms on the one hand, then international organizations, and then, for example, obviously countries like, like Germany or other countries that are interested in also taking part in these compacts with Africa. There is a political element to that, but there is also an economic element to that, and that is important to take into consideration when we discuss these policies. But again, Germany does not view Africa, and it does not view the African countries officially as only being recipients of money or recipients of aid. It wants to view Africa as equal partners on the world stage when it comes to tackling important issues. So definitely this new policy towards Africa and all these priorities that we've been talking go well beyond simply the monetary aspect. All right, Thomas, thank you very much. That sounds quite interesting. And uh, obviously, we will uh, be looking forward to, to, to how this new policy you know, unfolds and how it helps the continent and, of course, what's in it for uh, Germany as well. Thomas, thank you very much. Thomas Sparrow is political correspondent with our partners, DW. He joined us all the way from Berlin in Germany.